scrapbookers. So today we're going to be making a layout that's inspired by a page that you can find at Get It Scrapped in September 2014's um, story play. And the page is by Kim Watson. It looks a lot different than my page. So the inspiration piece is way different than this. But it does, the basic layout is the same. And so I've used a pie chart. My pie chart has a different subject matter than hers. Um, but mine is, this is all about my ancestry DNA results. So um, that's that was uh, the story that I was telling. And um, I will tell you, the video drones on for quite a long while. So you might want to just fast forward <laughs> through parts of it. I'll give you fair warning. Okay. Um, so get your supplies, think about what you want to do a pie chart about, and then um, I use my silhouette to cut this circle, but you could use a plate, you know, you could just, anything you want, just, you know, make a big old pie chart in the middle of your page. Okay, go get your supplies, and then let's get started. Hi, scrapbookers, it is Katie Scott, and I am still working on um, kit number one from my uh, Make Your Own Kit inspired by Get It Scrap Story Play. And so today um, I did add a sheet of white, a piece of cardstock that's white in, and I don't feel like that's cheating too badly. But I just cut a circle out of that, okay? And I am, today I am using inspiration from the page called So Much Fun, and there is a big pie chart in the middle, and that's that's a page by Kim Watson. If you want to see the page, you have to um, you have to be get subscribed to get a scrap, you know. But um, <laughs> I am going to be sharing with you my scrap lift. So if you want to just see the scrap lift, that's great. You can do it here for free. But if you want to see where I'm getting all this inspiration, um, go over to Get It Scrapped and check out their membership. And I think that you will find their, the prices are good and there's so much content there. You're going to be amazed. Okay. I'll end with my little, <laughs> I'll end my little sales pitch. Okay. So uh, what I want to do is, um, now Kim has painted some around and she's used yellow. But I'm not, what I'm going to be doing is instead of, um, she's done a pie chart of like what she did that summer, but my pie chart is going to be all about um, my Ancestry DNA results. So my Ancestry DNA results, and I'm going to have to kind of figure out how I'm going to do this because like <laughs> this much of it is going to be British. And then I've got 20% Irish and then a bunch of little slivers of other things. So let me, um, I'm just going to pause just so that I can um, figure out, like, well, I guess I don't need to pause, but I make these videos in real time. So sometimes I feel like I'm wasting your time <laughs> with um, doing all the figuring on camera, but um, that's, it's, it's real. Okay, so how do we figure out where the center of a circle is? There's a question for you. So my circle is, I don't know, it's about like, I'm going to use a pencil and try to see like where is the center. And so I'm kind of writing on the back of it. I'm going to try to, so let's just take this, this paste is going to come back, and this piece is kind of going to be used for, um, for purposes of like figuring out how to cut, it's going to be like my pattern for the pattern paper, that looks like a little too high, doesn't it? So, just trying to like figure out where the center of the circle is. And, you know, I've been up to 7th grade math, so psh, I should know this, but I don't feel like I do. So I'm going to just call that the center. And then I am 69% British, so I'm going to go over here and just kind of um, try to... 
trace what is going on in the um, on the ancestry. Okay, so I just kind of traced it, but they've made the chart kind of like this, and like probably like this. And then this is like, so this would be my Irish, and then this is all that other stuff, which that doesn't really look like. Like this should be 11%, and that should be 12, that should be 20%. So this just needs to be like a little bit smaller, I think. It's something more like this. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so I'm going to cut these, and then I'm going to use them as my model, my, what do you call it? Okay, here we go. Like a pattern, I'm using them like a pattern. So pie charts are kind of a fun way to tell stories. I made a pie chart about, I think I did my last summer, actually, for, it wasn't, I got it in late for a Get It Scrapped article. I'm actually more British than this looks. <laughs> this isn't, um, it should be more like this. I am like more British than people that live in England. <laughs> no kidding. Um, let me see if that looks better. So like my people came over on the Mayflower for real. Which I didn't know. I mean, I've just learned this. Um, I mean, we knew we were, and I've, I've talked about this before, we knew we were, we went far back in New England, but we didn't know we went that far back. But we did. We went back to the Pilgrims. And what was so funny is this um, summer we went on a road trip, and, oh, my kid came up here and, st oh, I got some more, and stole my regular tape. Um, but we went to Plymouth to see the rock. It's very anticlimactic if you haven't been there. I mean, it's, um, yeah, left a lot to be desired, but it's not that interesting. But, um, so it's going to, my little pie chart is going to look something like this. What was I telling you? Oh, but we totally almost hit a turkey when we were there. I thought that was so funny. Like, no wonder we have turkey for Thanksgiving. Like, there's tons of turkeys there. Like, real turkeys. Like, just running around. <laughs> that was very funny. Okay, so I am going to... Let's see. Can we get this in here? Oh, we can. Oh, that would be very cool, actually. This is a map... Oh, I almost like this better. So, oh, <laughs> um, sorry for the weird noises there. Okay, um, so this is what I'm thinking is I am going to use this paper, which then also haha, includes the, well, I don't know if I want to use it now because I do want to get some of those. I am so conflicted. Isn't that funny? Um, because this does, I think this shows like the different roots. Um, this is interesting paper. I'm not sure who made it, but it would be interesting. So I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use it on another page because I've been like, you know, doing a lot of family history. This is, this just is a map. It's like an old map, you know, an old map. So we'll use that another time. Okay, let's dig out this stuff. This is what I have. I did add this piece of paper, but it was going to be for something else. And uh, <laughs> I keep um, pulling things out and going, well, I could use this too. And then I could use this. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oh, man. Unorganized scrapbooking. That's me today. Okay, so how about we, all right, I like this paper, um, even though it doesn't look, 
Like I guess I could get roses or something to kind of signify Britain or like, I don't know, is a brick wall too weird to use? <laughs> I dropped some letter stickers if you didn't hear me. So, so far I've got nothing done. This is why sometimes I think maybe I should not make the real time videos. Um, cause I think I used to be faster than I am now. Seriously. Like I used to be able to like whip out a page in no time at all. And now I'm like, why am I so slow? Okay. So that's one option for that big, I don't think I like that. I think I am going to pause for just a second. And, um, but I told you I was going to use the kit. <laughs> But I never do that. No, I do sometimes. Let's see. Can we use this as the England? That doesn't feel very England. What feels like England to us? I mean, this could definitely be used for like the little, the Irish bit. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to break out kit number two. Because I said I was going to do that anyways. And I already made my four. Oh my gosh, I've used ten minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for <laughs> yammering on, wasting your time. Um, but I hope that you will think of me as like your virtual scrap buddy. So this is kit number two. Let's hope there's some green in there. Is there green? <laughs> Please be green. None of these really look like... No. Oh, okay. Let's just take inspiration and not use the kit. Okay, we'll just give ourselves permission to do that. So I'm going to find something that looks British. <laughs> can you think of what that might be? Because honestly, like, I'm not sure. I, I can think of, like, um, flowers, like roses. Or I could think of, what else is like British? Um, maybe some like hound's tooth? I don't know. I have another, I just happened upon another map paper. Um, I don't know if this is like, this seems like it's in another language and it's just made up. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. I can't tell if it's real or not. It's a different perspective. I'm not sure what that is. I'm keeping it out. Um, but I am looking, so I'm actively looking for something that looks British. This looks kind of British. Like a damask, right? Yeah, that, that kind of does. I guess. I spent six months over in England, in London, when I was in, um, in college. Anyways, I didn't know how British I was. <laughs> um, this is so boring. I feel like I want to start again. Maybe I'll just make this the, the tail end of a tape. Like the boring outtakes? I don't know. I'm sorry for being so lame. Okay, this looks kind of British. Sort of, kind of. Like it's got tea. Hmm. I don't know if that is or not. It doesn't really feel like it is. Um, yeah, here we go, struggling with, but okay. There are things we can do. <laughs> So I don't have the this stuff all mapped out yet. But let's um, maybe go on to the top and the bottom of the page. And now that is something I can start doing. And this paper I really like. Let's see. I had the top just a little bit. Yeah. So the bottom is a little bit bigger than the... Um, the bottom has a bigger margin than the top, and that was kind of intentional. But because I'm gonna use this to be like the bottom of the page, 
I think I should have made my circle smaller, but I this looks like um, a census. So let's just pull this. This is going to go whoop, on the bottom. Let's just start nailing that down before I go too crazy with choices over here. Wow, what a rough start. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I encourage you to be scrapbooking along with me and not just watching. Um, had one, one lady say that she watches, she watched when she was in the hospital, so I get that. But like, if you're able-bodied and at home, instead of just like thinking of this as something to watch, like a lot of the, a lot of the scrapbook process videos are, you know, well thought out and um, all organized and concise. This is not that. <laughs> um, okay, so there's the top. And then I do think, so she has like a strip along the bottom and then two t smaller strips along the top. That might be a great place for some of that map paper, if I can. If I think I can cut a little bit off of it. Let's see. Where did it go? Oh, issues, right? So it's Friday night. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay, TGIF. Wait, I don't want to lose these things. Um, where did my map paper go? I'm sorry. I'm a disorganized scrapbooker. It'll get better, I promise. Oh, I kind of like that. Maybe down here. I used that on a different page recently. I liked it a lot. It's like a cork board. Okay, and then here's this. Maybe a thinner slice, though. I'm just like, I'm thinking. Just tucking it behind. Does that work? It doesn't work. Let's see if I can tuck that behind. Do you like that? I kind of like that. I do like it. <laughs> There's a movie with Meryl Streep in it where she plays Julia Roberts. Or not, she doesn't play Julia Roberts. That would be a funny movie, huh? Um, she plays Julia Child. <laughs> and she's so bored and the husband's like, but you like Bridge? She's like, I do. So funny. We say that a lot. But it's boring. <laughs> That's when she took up cooking. I don't remember what I was supposed to be talking about. I don't even think she was English. She just had a... She was like an American with a weird accent, huh? So should I... I don't think this translate well. I don't think you can see enough of the map, so I'm not going to mess with that um, for the top here. But I just need two little strips... For the top, um, and so Kim really used a lot of beachy colors, you know, summer bright colors. So I'm not, I'm not looking to do that on this page. Um, let me get my paper strips out. I have a little drawer with a little tray. Ta-da! Looks like this. So when I have a little strip, I will oftentimes just throw it in here. A lot of times they're, you know, the little bottoms that you pull off, but not every time. So let's just see what we'd like for, oh, I like this. This is, um, you know, we're talking about ancestry, but, you know, family history, but those are the little geotags. Ah, I like that. I'm going to just leave that little hole in the top and I'm not going to worry about that. And then... I just need one more little strip that's going to go all the way across. Let me see how I feel about this. No. If it were not so... Um, no. Mm -mm. It was a good thought, though. It's fun to think about. Let's think about a different one. Some of these have a curve to them. That one doesn't. Oh, this one might be good. That might be cute. 
the greens don't the we've got minty green with an avocado green I don't think that looks very good but let's keep trying because we might find something that does work I like the idea too of these remember I was talking about the flowers Oh, that's not going to go all the way across, is it? This one does. Again, I don't think those colors... I don't think those colors work. So let's keep looking. I liked the idea of a banner. Let's see about this banner. Oh, I like this banner. I like that one better. Okay. And that, I think, I've got some of that, like like watercolory look down here. Um, so I think that works well. Let's have it go like this. And I think I'm going to move this up like actually quite a bit and then have it just... Does that look weird? That's kind of weird. Okay, I changed my mind. I don't think I want a little banner there, but if it were maybe, um, yeah, here we go. That's the ticket. If it were more like maybe something like this, that could be fun. Now that's not what she has. That might be just too much. Let's just try one more and then abandon that idea. This is that same problem with the two different, um, I like that better. But it gives it kind of a circus feel, which is not what I'm going for. It is not. So let's just try. Oh, let's just try one more of those stupid little banners. Let's try this one. Because, you know, like flags, this is where I'm from, countries, blah, blah, blah. You know. I could deal with that one without this. Like just a banner and not the um she even has a banner on hers, but she just does a little banner like off to the side. Hmm. <sighs> we used to stress your out yourself out in scrapbooking. <clears throat> Overthink things. Yeah, that's what I'm usually telling you not to do. And that's what I feel like I'm doing here. And I don't want you to do that. Don't do that, okay? Stupid. It's just scrapbooking. It's supposed to be fun. Um, but you know, sometimes you have a page and you're like, but I really want this one to be a good one. Like, I want this one to be awesome. And I think that's when we kind of psych ourselves out, which is what I'm doing right now. Don't do not do this at home. Let's try this one. Ugh. Is that okay? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not loving any of it. Um, okay. Here's a grid. I like grids. Let's try the grid. Oh, goodness. Yeah, let's do the grid. That's groovy. I like it. And um, let's think about using. Where did it go? I should use these cute little vellum -y things <laughs> before I destroy them. Um, maybe just use something like this. So I'm going to cut these. Here and here, I think. And then I'm just going to do the little taggy, flaggy thing like she did that on the page. And I thought it was pretty cute. I'm going to make this strip a little bit, just a tiny bit shorter or less wide. Oh, I'm sorry, this is so lame. This should be one where I um, fast forward it, right? It could be the, that could be the one. <laughs> it, I'm not, probably not going to do that, but I've been thinking about it. 
been pondering and considering. Okay, so let's get this down, and then we're going to work on the middle. Oh, painful. Sometimes it's just painful, right? It takes, like, way longer than you expect it to take. Even though, like, I felt like I was making progress the whole time, but I annoyed myself with how long that took. <sighs> Which is not how I want to spend my time scrapbooking. So we're coming up on Labor Day weekend. You're going to see this later, so Labor Day weekend will already be passed, but um, this is what I'm up to on the Friday night, beginning Labor Day weekend. My daughter has a friend over, and I think the friend is like a little bit more high energy than she is, although the friend is so polite. <laughs> Like, at, we had dinner, and then we had gone, like, I took them out to eat right after school because it was a half day. And so, like, the little friend is so well-behaved at the restaurant. And my, like, my son was not not behaved, but he was, um, you know, wasn't especially talkative. He was kind of quiet. And then my daughter, like, really behaved like a monkey in this restaurant. Like, so much that, like... She started crawling on this, I don't know what. She's 10, like she'd be like way beyond this. I don't know what got into her. But um, the manager had to come over and tell her like, you can't sit up there. And I was like, see, I told her to get down, get down. And so anyways, that, and then we went to the store and the little friend was so helpful. My daughter just like, you know, smuggling as much candy as she can into the cart. And then, you know, the other one helps in with the, like she was, like I guess how you act when you go to a friend's house, and I hope that my kids act that way when they go to friend's houses. But, um, okay, now I'm looking for the little stitches. Remember I had those rub-on stitches? Did I put them in this pack? Let's see. So if I had my sewing machine, working, I would use that, but I don't, and so in one of the kits, I thought I'd put it in this kit, I had these little like rub-on um, stitches, so, and there's some stitches here, so I like the idea of incorporating that, these are my letter stickers, so yep, they're not in there, I think they're actually in one of my other kits, let's break one of those out, we're going to break kit number two out pretty soon here anyways. Okay, this is the big kit. Oh, look, there's even... Yeah, here it is. Okay, so choose a little. This is the big kit. This is like the kit number three that I'm going to use like in the probably the last two weeks. Um, but I'm going to try to make like seven layouts before I get there. We'll see. We'll see if I get there or not. Um, so these are like little stitch lines that you can rub on and I bought them they're creative imaginations they're probably like a zillion years old and I think I got them at a scrapbooking yard sale and I haven't used them nearly enough but my sewing machine being out gives me a really good reason to use them so let's just try these ones aren't especially um, dark, they're different colors, so I'll just try a couple and see how that goes. And if they're a mess, then I won't continue. Um, I don't have a popsicle stick, I don't think, so sometimes when I don't, I'll use like a fine tip sharpie, like the end works pretty good. So let's just see. Some rub ons are better than others. Oh, these ones are good, actually. Oh, they're very easy. Huh. Very nice. Love that. Yay! Something was easy. But anyways, the, <laughs> the kids all went out to play, and I was like, oh, I feel like our kids are <laughs> so poorly behaved. Like, what a bad job we did. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just Friday and I'm feeling a little frustrated. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe you 
don't have that issue. But you know, you get the groceries home and like it would be really lovely if the kids would just like automatically help you in with the groceries. And sometimes they do, like depending on what you bought, like there's something they really want. But they don't just do it like automatically. It's usually a, can you help me with this kind of a situation, you know? But the little friend just like automatically helps and she's so, I'll stop. That's just... Anyways, I looked at my husband after dinner and was like, we did a horrible job. <laughs> oh, it's our own fault, right? No. Parenting is a, it's a, like a long haul thing that you, um, you know, I think you can like, there's some things where you can be like, oh yeah, that, I totally, you know, that was me. And other things I think that aren't so like good and bad you can you know think like oh I can take credit for that and then I don't know it depends I think you know it's that old like nurture nature and nurture thing I just think parenting is like like, what do they say? The hardest job you'll ever love. So I love it, but it is hard. You wonder how all those... I do, I do all this family history research now, and you wonder how they... How it was in the olden days, like the old and olden days. There is a genealogy book, apparently, that's like... the old, You know, the good old days were neither good nor old. Or, I don't know, something like that. Like it was probably always hard to raise children, no matter when you lived. It's not all hard. It's fine. Okay. So I did a little stitchy kind of things up there. Let me try to just do a little bit. I'm just going to leave that subtle down there. I might put some more on later. I know you can barely see that there and there. I know we haven't gotten very far. So now I'm going to, um, I'm going to pause so it'll be easier to upload and I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't go away for long, but I found a couple pattern papers. I'm going to use this one for England. I don't know, it might not be the Englishy, most Englishy thing you ever saw, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to kind of, oh, this is a horrible way to cut a piece of paper. Don't do this at home. <laughs> this is bad. Okay, I know a better way to do this. And it involves a glue stick. Let's use a glue stick. Ugh. And the, way, the reason that's a bad way to cut it is then it's hard to use up those scraps. And I know I could just throw away the scraps, but I'm... Always apt to save them. Why? I don't know. I have a ton of paper. I don't need to. <laughs> it's that 20% Irish. Or maybe it's the Scottish. <laughs> They're supposed to be frugal, right? Um, and in Ancestry, the Scottish is actually included in the British. So, which I have feel like that shouldn't be like that, but that's how it is. So, <laughs> 69% is Scottish. Maybe that's why I like to um, save all that paper. Okay. I'm just going to cut this. So I've actually like used that white piece and taped it, or <laughs> what do you call that? He did it to um, the pattern paper so it can look like this.
So I just scored a a whole album on eBay of my like, you know, it's from the eighteen hundreds. Whole album with like twenty pictures of people in my family. Seriously, so awesome! I can't wait to get it. And there's another one on there, and um, they want two hundred dollars for it. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to pay two hundred bucks for a photo album, but um. I'm on the verge of maybe thinking about it. Okay, so, oh, I kind of like that. That's cool. Okay, the way they had it in Ancestry is they had the biggest part over here, which I kind of thought was strange, but maybe I like that, because I think the photo I'm going to use, no, I'm going to do it this way. Um, it seems like the largest part ought to go on that side, right? They had it the other way on Ancestry. I'm going to clip this picture down a little, um, but this is a picture of my daughter and I in Plymouth, you know, standing in front of a fake Mayflower, and I think that will be a great way to represent that we're from jolly old England. Okay, does this, is this what we want for, I'm a little torn. I'm wondering if this is what I want for to represent Ireland or if I want more little flowers, but uh, I think that's going to be all right. Um, I would like another glue stick. Here we go. I found one. I did. Okay. So I thought that technique worked pretty well of taping it to the, so you want to tape it to the side that you're not going to use and then you can cut. fun. And it feels like an art project. Which, you know, of course all of this is. Okay. <laughs> I'm just boring the snot out of you tonight, huh? Um, what else can I tell you? I scheduled a time to go get my hair cut. I'm going to get it cut like my 10th cousin. <laughs> Twice removed. Taylor Swift. Um, yeah, she's, that's, I'm upset, I, I've just been like having so much fun figuring things out on, on Ancestry. Okay, so this is the Irish, this is the English, and then all of these little ones are going to be, um, they're all different things, so let's see the different, and I think I might use Copic markers to designate those little lines, um, I think that could work. So let's get the Copics out and a ruler, handy dandy Copics, and now I'm looking back at my ancestry. Um, so this is like 11%, let's just write this on the back so we don't forget. So I'm going to be 4% Iberian Peninsula, so we get 4 percent and then three percent Finland plus three plus am I bleeding? No. Um, plus two percent Eastern Europe plus one percent Scandinavia plus one percent Western Europe. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's eleven percent. So how am I going to make all the little lines? Let's see. I really am doing 7th grade math. It's miserable. It's not that miserable. So far it's okay. Okay, so we're going to call this the 4%. Right, that'll be 4%. And then we have a 3%. So like just slightly smaller. Okay, and then we have a 2 plus a 1 plus a 1. Two. And then this one's going to be like a 1 plus a 1. Okay. 4, 3, 2, 1, 1. I think that works. Alright, let's see how well Copics do on this paper. 
The paper is um, by We Are Memory Keepers. I'm just going to use the back of this as my mat. And, all right, so I am, let's see what we got. A 4% Iberian Peninsula. So that's like um, Fran it's Spain and France. So what do we want to call this? Do we want to go red with that? Or maybe like some kind of um, blue? But I don't want to go like cobalt blue. I wish I had a blue that were just slightly like an aqua blue but a little deeper than this color. Well, let's try this color and see where we go from there. So that's going to be my, this will be Iberian Peninsula. And what I'm interested to see is how, uh, oh, the copings are kind of neat because you can make them like a little bit darker if you want to. Okay, I didn't do such a good job of though of staying within my line, so that didn't work out. I like the way that looks. Um, so then let's do the next one. How about this color red? It's called carmine, and that will represent yeah Finland and Russia. Finland and Russia are like lumped into the same category. Doesn't that seem weird? I mean, I don't know. I know they're close to each other on the map, but they don't feel like they're the same to me. Do they feel the same to you? Do, would you think of Finland and Russia as the same thing? I don't. But, okay. Like, Finland, doesn't that seem more like Norwegian? And Russia seems like its own thing. Okay, so that's going to be Finland and Russia, the little red stripe there. And then we have three more stripes to go. So the next one is Eastern Europe. Okay. Eastern Europe. You know, I don't feel like I know a lot about Eastern Europe. Let me just look at the map and see. So Eastern Europe is... Okay, Ukraine, Romania, Poland, and Belarus. Belarus? Hmm. Yeah, I don't feel very familiar with that area of the world at all. Let's use yellow. But I'm 3% that. Or 2% that. Um, I wouldn't know, like, what color I associate with that place, you know? Let's use the other side of this thing. Yeah, this paper with the Copics, there's a certain amount of bleeding, and so... Just be aware if you're doing something like this. Okay, next up is going to be Scandinavia and then Western Europe. So let's see how, let's just see how this is looking with the other colors and make sure it doesn't look completely crazy. So we're going to, it's going to look a little bit like this. And then, ta-da. So you want to do like something like that. I like that. That could be good. With a photo over here. Yeah. Alright, so two more. I don't want them to be heavy colors. So, and I don't want them to be neon either. I'm going to try this um, green and then a pink. And hopefully, they won't be too, like, neon green. I guess I should test this first. Okay. It's just a nice light green that will work. Okay. And just use pink for the last one.
So there's a couple, there's the mini driver, um, who do you think you are? I haven't seen that one yet. Somehow, yeah, I got derailed watching TV this, well, I haven't been able to watch TV this week, which isn't the end of the world or anything, but, um, because it's the week of, on FXX, which is a channel, <laughs> they have, um, every Simpsons ever. <laughs> like, every, that looks too much like a Pac-Man, huh? If I do it like that. I don't know. It looks too much like I. I kind of feel like it should have a true north. <laughs> like one of these lines should go straight up and down, and then this should be Ireland, and then. But I kind of would think it would be cuter if that kind of went that way. But then it really looks like a Pac-Man to me. Like especially if I put it like this, then it has like a psychedelic tongue not do that. Let's not do that. I don't think anybody else would make all those associations. Okay, let's try like this. Okay, let's finish. Let's tape that stuff down. So, I think what I'll do is just use some regular tape and tape this so that the tape is going to overlap. So when I lay things down, um, It'll kind of make sense. Oh, I feel like this is the most boring. I've done this before where I've been like, oh, I'm so boring. And then people, I'm not just, <laughs> I don't know. I really, there's no script to this. So sometimes I, you know, much more clever and witty than others. I think sometimes I'm more entertaining than others. I don't feel especially entertaining tonight. Sorry about that. I'm in a good mood though. It's Friday night. I'm scrapbooking. And everybody is uh, home and happy and everything's good. <sighs> Whenever I went with the bike, we go for a bike ride every night with my mother-in-law. And um, then we kind of visit with my father-in-law afterwards. He's 93 and a half and he has Alzheimer's. And so he wrote this autobiography of himself years ago now. But um, every once in a while, like, I'll pull it out and read to him. Especially if we've been, like, kind of talking about the good old days. Because he can remember, like, stuff from when he was a kid and a teenager, like, really well. Um, better than what he remembers from now and so they were talking about his old girlfriends and so and he didn't have many because they got they've been married my in-laws have been married get this 73 years seriously isn't that crazy oh I didn't do it the way I said I was going to whoops sorry um yeah and the funniest part is he had this one girlfriend, like, you know, when he was, like, 16 or something before, you know, and she, like, she still doesn't like to hear that one's name. <laughs> so funny. They've been married for 73 years. <sighs> so we were reading, I was reading to him from his autobiography about some of his old girlfriends. So there's a, a plug for... If you haven't scrapbooked your old boyfriends, you should. Because someday, when you're old and want to laugh about it, it's fun to think about all those old times. Okay, so you can kind of see, I've just taped that onto the back. And I should probably, like, reinforce that a little. Or, you know what would be fun is if I did, you know it would be fun, but it would take, if I had a sewing machine... I would so be, get it, so, I would be sewing around. Now, I do have some circles in here, but I don't think they're really going to, like, the arc of them aren't really going to work. Maybe they will a little bit. I don't think that's going to look good, though. Um, let me see if I have one that's kind of lighter. Yeah, I have one that's sort of lighter in color. And... Yeah, so I'll go back to 
on my other computer. She did, um, on the original layout, she did sew, a like actually sew. So I'm going to pull this out and um, just play with these rub-ons and lament the fact that my sewing machine isn't working. It's so sad. So I'm going to, these aren't going to stay circles at all. I'm just going to cut these because they're not, like, what am I trying to say? The curve is going to be different than the curve here. So I'm not going to be able to really get these totally lining up. So I'll have to like make it look a little bit messy. So I'm going to do kind of like this. But I just want that outer zigzag one, I think. Where did my Sharpie go? So for Friday nights, I think I mentioned this before, but Friday nights for digital scrapbookers is like when they shop. And I've been looking at some of those kits that have been coming out, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should go digital. <laughs> I, But I'm kind of like, oh, I can't. Like, I'm already so into paper scrapbooking that it kind of feels like I shouldn't, I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't, you know? <laughs> so, there's a certain amount of, like, wobbliness to this. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that. More glue, I think, in here. That's going to help over here. Killing the glue sticks tonight. I didn't buy any glue sticks this year at school, you know, the school shopping, back to school. I usually do. They usually you can get them for like 10 cents a stick. You know, usually they're pretty inexpensive. But I didn't get any. I should have got... I don't think I went to Target, which I usually do. But then I usually end up spending like a ton of money at Target. So my husband's always like, try not to go there, okay? So I went to Office Depot, I think. I did. I mean, I know I went there. I went to Office Depot instead of Target this year. I'm like less tempted by the rest of the stuff there. Although I can do damage in a <laughs> in an Office Depot, too. I, lo I love a good office supply store. Okay. Hmm. This is a little bit challenging here. And I'm not sure. I I think it does. It is helping. It looks it looks okay. I don't think it looks awesome. Like it would definitely look better if I had um if I had my sewing machine working. But it's okay this stuff in a pinch. It looks alright. It's giving a little um, interest to the outside edge there. I don't like it as well. I mean, I really love the way that real machine stitching looks on a page. I should just... <laughs> I should just order one on Amazon because my husband says he's not going to fix my sewing machine. Maybe he will this weekend. He's got three days. I guess... I'll, I'll tell it to him like that, like, hey, either you sew, fix my sewing machine or come Tuesday I'm going to get a new one. So I think that'll be the answer. And I think that will, if I get a new one, that will be the fourth one I've ever had in my life. The first one I had was from JCPenney and I got it when I was a teenager. And I should have never given that one up. That was probably like the most, you know, it was built like a tank. <laughs> it was really built well. And they just don't make them, like, they make them okay now. At least the ones I get. I don't buy expensive sewing machines now because I feel like if I use them in paper crafting, um, they aren't, they're just, you know, you are going to, put extra wear and tear on them so 
maybe don't use an expensive one and think of them as disposable and if they last for three or four years it's probably a good run so sad right okay so I've got some stitching around there I really like that I've got some other I don't think I'm gonna put this to use this stuff nope so this is just I don't know what's gonna happen to these if I wasn't Scottish, I would just throw them away. But I'm going to put them in that little bin with all of the, um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't think that's, I don't know where that stereotype comes from. I think just cold weather, people have to, like, think about saving things. That's what I think. And if you're in a warmer climate, you don't have to care as much. Although, maybe you do. Okay, so there's where I'm thinking for the photo. Yeah? You like that? Something like that. And, yep, yeah, that's actually, she has her photo right about there. Let's just copy that. Okay. And let's use... Just, I want to put a little mat on that. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just a simple white mat would be good. Or I've really been having a lot of fun with this paper that looks like the census. I don't know where it came from. If you know who made this, tell me. <laughs> Leave a comment, because I'm not really sure. I like that. And we were there at about sunset at Plymouth Rock. We didn't go on the boat. <laughs> My daughter couldn't wait to get out of there. She's like, this is so boring. It's Alice and think of all the history. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that paper. It's so cute. Um... Okay, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, <laughs> but I have this out, so I have my, um, my scissors, right, and have these little pinking, like the pink circles, and so if you like a paper and you don't want to, like, use it all, um, before you use it as a photo mat, you can do this little thing. I know some people are like, why would you bother, but I don't know. I like feeling thrifty, even if I'm not thrifty. I mean, I am, but not totally. Ta-da! Aren't those cute? Those are so cute. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use those pinked circles more. I used to use them, like, a year or so ago, and then I kind of stopped using them, and um, I still think they're really, really, really cute. They're still really cute. So, I'm going to bring those back into my repertoire. So, let's get this on here. And now we can plop that down. Something like this. Okay. Yeah? No? I don't know. So I'm kind of covering up the middle so we don't have to worry about how that middle looks, just that all this stuff is radiating out of us. 
Okay, so now the bottom. So what's a little, okay, so she's used her, um, this space as the place to put the letter stickers to say what she, what, um, what her title is. And then down at the bottom is where she put, like, what all the percentages were. Um, and it looks like she used dots as kind of a key for that. Or, she didn't take it too literally. Um, okay, so how do I want to do this? Hmm. Um. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess a good first place, a first thing to do would be to pick some letters. Um, I've been going to these over and over again. It doesn't feel like the red is quite right for this page. Let me look at some of the other choices I have. Oh, I could do my letters like this. So maybe it goes like 69% British. I don't think there's a percentage little. Okay, so I think I'll start here and work my way backwards with the letters. Um, yeah. Sorry, I feel like I'm not being fast or entertaining. Just think of me as your, like, kind of lame crop buddy. Um, okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to use the curve of that to be my... And I'm using, like, two different... Um, letter sticker sheets that are blue, so the blues aren't going to all be totally the same, which I will say will represent the fact that I'm English and Scottish. There you go. <laughs> so I'm just writing the word British. Is that what they're calling it? Let me just look. It's called, yeah, Great Britain is what they're calling it. So maybe I shouldn't say British. We'll say Great Britain. How about that? Because that's the that's how they term it. So we'll go with that. Um I guess maybe let's use more of these stickers. It seems like we have more of them. I'm just gonna mix it up. Great Britain. I think I want to have the letters be mostly off. Yeah. Okay, this is where the two sheets kind of come in handy because I don't have enough letters, I don't think. But maybe I can make this Q into an A. That looks like an A. Maybe the T. And then down here, I think, is where I'll put those other percentages. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet, but that's what I'm envisioning now. <laughs> I'm not envisioning anything in advance, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pause for a second because... When I get to over about 30 minutes, then it's hard. It takes a long time to upload. Okay, back. So I didn't I didn't even get up. Okay, now I'm looking for an R. Here we are. Ah, get it. Um, yeah, so what else? I don't know what else to tell you. I'm here. I'm scrapbooking. <laughs> 
That's all. That's all I have to say. Great Britain. Jerry. All right, now I'll use maybe these little letters for the great. That will make sense. So I kind of wonder, like, I bet it's better to be, I wonder if it's better to be more diverse than this, like, <laughs> this isn't very diverse at all. Um, it doesn't feel like America has been a melting pot for my great-grandparent, you know, my people at all. Um, but my husband's parents, like, they're more diverse, they're much more diverse than me. I'm interested to see how he comes back. Well, he'll probably be more diverse, too. And then um, we had, my daughter wanted to do it, the Ancestry DNA test. And so it'll be interesting to see, like, what she got. Because now, like, it's her, you know, both of her parents and her. So she's going to have, um, it'll be interesting to see um, who she, you know, what she got from us. <laughs> I'm really interested to see that. Okay. So I'm going to try to make like a percentage mark. So there's, that worked out pretty good. Great. So 69%. So we can just use this like explanation point. And then a percentage is going to be like this way. So I'm just going to move those just a teensy bit over. And then we just need two little like dots. Ah, that's clever. <laughs> I, sometimes I think I'm clever. Yeah, that happens. Okay, um, so the, and then this is going to be 20% Ireland. So it would be lovely to put Ireland in green. So I do think maybe I can use these gray letters if they will, if I can turn them green. Let me do a test on a Z. I don't think it's going to look good. Nope, that's, that's not, but maybe it would look good in gray. I don't know if the contrast is going to be enough. Um, I think it might be, actually. Let me just look in my letter sticker drawer. I'll cheat a little more on this and see if I have any green sparkly letters. I want to think that I probably don't. Um... Nope. Oh, I do. But they're very different kind of a color. So I don't think those really match very well. Oh, ha! Huh. I do have more. So many more of those blue ones. I'm just going to put them all together. I didn't realize I had those in there. So now I'm looking for something else. How about yeah, these letters, but I kind of feel like that's going to spell Ireland like way too big, so I need a smaller set. Um, that's a possibility. I wonder if I could color those green. That's like a dark green. That's going to be nice. So now it's just a matter of, can I fit that in there? I think I probably can. So I'm just going to go forward and start. I color my letters while they're still here on the sheet. Oh, I really like this green. It pleases me a great deal. <laughs> I've got to say. 
It looks great. Okay, now I need the um So this is how that is going to look. Yeah. Isn't that nice? I like that. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to make that percentage symbol because I don't really have like a just a line. Maybe if I cut an X in half. So I'm going to try to cut like a small X. I don't think this is going to be easy in half. I feel like I'm going to cut myself. Ugh. They're very thick. There we go. And then... So you know what I haven't used in a while is, is an X-Acto knife. Remember like people used to fussy cut stuff with X-Acto knives? And I feel like nobody does it anymore because because everybody has a silhouette now. But I came across one of my X-Acto knives the other day and I'm like, oh hey old friend, I never use you anymore. <laughs> and I don't need to get rid of X-Acto knives, but there's other tools that I feel like um, just getting no use. Like my, you know, all those scissors with the fancy edges, like I don't even, I, I found them, but um, I haven't used them in so long, like they're up on a shelf, like not even in this room. So I'm thinking those will go into the scrapbooking yard sale. And probably my old school Sizzix, like the red one. Because as you just saw, I have another one. So it's not like I need to. So I, I'm getting ready. I'm Just about every year in October, I really like do a big house cleaning and a purge. You know, I get rid of a bunch of stuff. And so I think I'm going to get rid of a bunch of like scrapbooking supplies that I probably... You know, it's either a duplicate or I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I don't know if I can squeeze Ireland in there. It might go over a bit. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to do that, but if it does, it does. And I'm going to try to scooch it. Let me try to cram it in there. Let's see if I can move this over this way just a little bit. Yeah, I think, okay, that's not gonna, it's like, nope, I'm here, I'm, I'm not moving. I'm standing my ground, thank you very much. Um, okay, I am just gonna cut off the little, like the serif things, and that will make it easier to squeeze the letters together a little bit. Again, another thing digital scrapbookers never have to worry about. Maybe I could sell a bunch of my old, <laughs> this is so bad, paper scrapbooking stuff. And then, you know, go take a class, a Photoshop class down at the art center. Because I feel like, I know there's scrapbooking class, like digital, like learn how to digital scrapbook um, classes online. But uh, I just feel like it would be probably easier to go to like the local art school. And even though they're not going to be teaching scrapbooking, to like learn Photoshop and really know it before. Because I feel like once I knew what you know, I don't need somebody to tell me where to put things. I know how to scrapbook. I just don't know how to use Photoshop. I'm going to cut the little tail off this guy. So I am going to go over a little bit. But that's probably okay. I think Great Britain went over into Ireland probably a little bit too much in history. You know, stepped on all their toes for way too long. I always, I always like to identify with the underdog. So like being 69% Great Britain, I always feel like Great Britain is like the bully in history. You know, like we, um, 
We fought for our independence from them. And then, you know, Braveheart and the whole Irish thing. And so, yeah, it was like learning I was 69% Irish. I was like, oh. I, I just really wish they would designate Scottish as a different thing because I feel like it's very different. I feel like I identify more with Scotland than I do with England. But Great Britain, there's a whole chart. Like, you can look on Pinterest and they have, like, what is Great Britain, what is, like, the UK. They have all the different designations. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so there's 69% Great Britain, 20% Ireland. Is that too smushed in there? Kind of. And then these, um, maybe let's just... How am I going to... I think maybe I'll have a little key down here. That's the ticket, right? Okay. So I think the way that I will do that is to use... Maybe let's get those little letters that we just had out. And then use um, these little dots to then put on labels to, for the other things. You know what I'm talking about? I think you do. Maybe you do. So I need one that's that pink color. Or yeah, one pink. One neon green. Man, this is I'm so sorry this is going so long. I feel like telling you like just you know <laughs> just watch the next one. It'll probably be better. I don't think those colors are really translating. They're looking different here than they did here. So I'm going to find some white letter, letter stickers and um, try that. I think that'll hopefully work better. Uh, hold on. One momento. Okay, I found some. These are something that you're supposed to use with mists. I think they're going to work just fine with these letters. So I'm just using the little periods or dots. Yeah, that looks better. It looks more like those colors. I'm going to need five of those. So what are your scrapbooking? I would love it if you left me a comment and told me, what do you do when you watch these videos? Like, what are you working on? Or what are you working on right now? I think that would be interesting to know. Okay, what am I missing? Pink. One pink. the little dots and now I'm going to get some labels I don't think they're in the kit forgive me I'll be right back okay so I found some labels <laughs> they're October afternoon labels so they're different color they're not that bright white that um, you know is the background paper here but I don't think they need to be completely matching. Why? I don't know. Why not? Okay. How does that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just gonna be... I'm about done. Like, you know when you get to be like, okay, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm done. Um, that's where I am. I'm like, <sighs> let's just let's just finish. Okay, so there's my little key that goes to there, and that one is going to be Iberian Peninsula. So I should have tested a pen on these label stickers, but I didn't. So I'm going to try, you know what, I'm, I'm going to, hold on, I'll be right back, I'm just going to.
pen. A ballpoint pen works great on the October afternoon label stickers. Okay, so that's going to be Iberian Peninsula. Iberian pen in Sula. And then I'll put the percentage. That's going to be 4%. And that is France, Spain, and Portugal, and a little bit of like Morocco. <laughs> um, so I'm going to write France, France, F R, hello, F R A N. CE plus Spain plus Portugal. Okay. Ugh. Gonna mess that up a little. I don't know if you can tell if that's France or not, but it is. So that's gonna be 4%. And the next one is Finland and Northwest Russia. funny. We have this friend who um, is from Russia. And I'm always copying her accent because she's so cute. She says funny things. I say it with love. Like I copy her with love. But um, my husband was like, oh, you must be so excited that you have a little Russian. Because <laughs> you always want to be Russian. Um, she's adorable. Okay, so Finland and Northwest Russia. And then we have, next up is Eastern Europe. So that was Poland, Ukraine, Romania. Okay. So I'm going to do that same bit where I kind of identify the countries. So this is, oh, it actually says Europe East. Okay, we'll write it exactly like they did. Europe East. And that's going to be Poland, Ukraine. Ukraine. Romania. Yeah, what's the other one? Belarus, and I, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Belarus. How come I don't know that country? Um, oh, I'm getting a knock. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And I had, I had to braid my daughter's hair, but um, in the meantime, I did a little Instagram of this layout, like a page in progress. And over on Instagram, I'm Katie F. Scott. So if you want to follow me over there. Um, that's what I look like on Instagram. I do quite a bit of Instagramming, more than probably any other social media at this point. That's my like my favorite thing to be up to. And so I'm thinking it would be fun to put the letters D N A up here, like not super contrasty, but just like I don't know if that's gonna work. Or maybe my initials. How about that? Yeah. That's the ticket. Right? Okay. I'm going to just tuck those in like just a little bit. I don't know if that helps any. We'll go for it anyways. F. I don't know. I kind of think it looks better without them. But I like that it's like my ancestry DNA. Um, and then I just wrote in all the little bits down there. And so, done. Yeah. Fun. I actually like that. I think it has a nice... I like the white, um, especially. I think it just makes it look real clean. 
Um, Kim Watson's layout has a whole bunch of paint, and that looks really awesome too. But on um, this layout, I really like the fact that it's like kind of a cleaner look. Um, and I like how white the white is. So that's the layout. Okay, that's all. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.